Like what's come over me Feels like I'm somebody else So just don't get overwhelmed And you'll make it out Then you'll be just fine I promise you don't have to worry about a thing Don't let it break you down You got me by your side And when you feel the difference It'll be night and Alright boys, this one's for you. I will be exposing the girls today, so if you want to thank me, then like and follow. There are things that guys do that women find hot for no reason. They send voice audios instead of texting us. Like videos of you talking on Snapchat instead of like half of your face. I don't know what it is, but we just love to hear your voice, so send us videos please. One-handed shirt removal. You know what I'm talking about. We absolutely love a fixer-upper. Come over our house and just start fixing things. A picture frame on the floor and you just put it up for me. You can hold eye contact. It shows that you're confident and like I said, we love a confident man. Shoulder lean. On FaceTime and they hit you with like this, but they're like leaning against the wall, if you know what I mean. Don't question this next one, but a man rolling up his sleeves. Plays with your hair, but not weirdly. We love when you play with our hair. The one hand card turn thing. When you're reversing and he does like that look over thing with his hand over your seat. And a guy is super passionate about his work. See so you putting in the work, you're motivated, and you have goals for your future. We just say one thing, marriage material. Alright, this one is for the boys, so if you're not a boy, just keep scrolling. Say thank me now because today I'm coming in total clutch. Here are random things that girls love when guys do. And I'm telling you these things so you can go do them. Number one, when a guy tells us to text him when we get home safe. Like, okay, you care about our safety. This is honestly just such a wholesome thing that a guy can do. And it makes us feel really appreciated. Number two, little tiny surprises. It can literally be just like a post-it note telling us to have a good day or like a good morning text. But in girl world, a little gesture goes a long way with us. Number three, when you guys bring up a tiny detail that we told you a while ago that we most likely thought you forgot. Nothing is more attractive than a guy who listens. It's so cute when you guys remember little details about us and what we love. If you guys want a part two, just drop a follow. These are things that guys do that girls absolutely love. Like the hottest thing ever. Number one, I love when guys leave the toilet seat up and then when I go to the bathroom at night, I fall into the toilet. It's kind of like a game. It's just so spontaneous, so much fun. Number two, I love when I'm in the middle of arguing with a guy and he says, calm down. It's honestly just so soothing. I definitely feel so calm after that. Okay, you know when his whole entire best friend list is all girls? It's so hot, it just means he loves women. He loves them. Number four, I love when they send me that, honestly, I haven't felt this way about a girl in a really long time, you're so different, and then proceed to treat me like every other girl. I love when they ask me on a date and I spend hours planning the perfect outfit and then the guy shows up in track pants. I love it, he's so chill, he's so relaxed. Things guys do that are hot for absolutely no reason. Girls confirm or deny in the comments and guys, you can just sit back and enjoy the show. Number one, I have named the human magnet and you are about to find out why. Why is it so attractive when you're both asleep and you turn over to get comfy and face away from him, but he also turns over, cuddles you and pulls you in closer to him? Like, oh, you miss me even when you're unconscious. It's so cute. Number two, the bodyguard. When guys are protective, but not in like a creepy controlling way, they just care about your safety. Like if you're in a crowded place and they hold your hand and whisper in your ear, stay close to me. And then they like squeeze your hand to let you know that they're there and you're safe. It's giving the same energy as text me so I know you got home safe. You're immediately an 11. And number three, why is it so attractive when a guy is super hungry and is shoveling in food to the point he is so hyper-focused and doesn't even look up from his plate? And then you realize and say something and they look up at you like, uh, eat me like that, please. Non-sexual things guys do that's hot. Really hot. That fresh out of the fucking shower smell. You ladies, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. That like crispy ass, like humidified, like deliciousness. Anything they say that can be said in a fucking whisper will make it a billion trillion bajillion times hotter. Okay, it's just like yes. When they're driving and they do that like one hand like woo 
woohoo thing. Yeah. <laughs> Talking with their hands. Okay, and they're like, so I told them. Nah, nah, nah. I don't fucking know, but just use these. My absolute fucking favorite is when a guy throws his head back laughing like a little kid. And like he's laughing so hard. And it's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. you know, obviously he's laughing harder than that. But like, so cute. I love it. Uh, this one's for the boys, so if you're not a boy, just keep scrolling. Today, I'm exposing the girls. Here are little things that you guys don't even realize you do that we find so hot. Number one, when you are taking off a hoodie and your t-shirt comes up a little bit as you're taking off the hoodie, to die for. Our minds will be going like anywhere else during class. Number two. Okay, so when you guys get mad at us, you do this thing. You guys like flex your jaw. It is literally so attractive and it is kind of any girl's weakness. Number three, when you guys try not to giggle or like laugh and you do that like tongue thing. Hold on, let me show you. I'm, I'm not gonna do it as good as you guys do it, but let me try. It's like, ew, that just, that made me cringe, but you know what I'm saying. And finally, when you guys get a voice crack, it's hot. Five things that guys do that are hot <laughs> for no reason. Part four. <laughs> you're at the beach, you're at the pool. I don't know. But whenever you see <laughs> your guy get out of the pool and it's mm -hmm. like wet and suction oh. and he like kind of has to like kind of just. <laughs> All right, when you're driving in the car and you look to the right. Driving, look to the right. Holding on to the handlebar. To the handle. Ooh, the muscle. And you can just. <laughs> just you know when a man says on a baseball cap, it's like frontwards, but then he wants to go put it backwards, so he takes it, lifts it up. As he's doing it, hand goes through the hair. Ooh. Pulls it down. Tight. I don't know what it is. <laughs> when you lock eyes with a man from across the room and he gives you the nod. The nod. <laughs> stop. I like my chest hair. You know when you walk into the kitchen and your man's is like standing in the corner, you know where the tables meet? Leaning back and like eating a bowl of cereal, like, ah, eat me. <laughs> Things guys do that girls find attractive. When he's nodding his head and like making eye contact with you as you talk, so it's like kind of intimidating, but it's like, oh, you're really paying attention. We love it. And they do that like half smirk thing that turns into like a little chuckle. It's like, <laughs> I can't do it, but if you can nail it, it's fire. When y'all do that whole like pull your shirt off with one hand in one smooth motion, the power you motherfucking hold. That is the hottest shit anyone could ever fucking do. When they grab us things from higher places that we can't reach. And like, I understand not everyone has the facilities for that, but like, it's admirable. Non-sexual things guys do that's hot. Really hot. Ladies, let me know if you agree. The power of the phrase, this made me think of you, or I saw blank and it made me think of you, whatever the fuck, any version of that? In love. You wanna fuck a girl's mind? Her heart? Say that shit. She'll remember it. This one may be due to uh, mental illness, but when they're mad, and like, don't get all excited here, I'm not talking violence, but when they're just mad, and they're like trying to hold in their anger, and they're just like, and you can kind of see they're getting like kind of red or like their face is getting tense because they're so pissed off. They're not doing anything, okay? Emphasis on that. They don't do anything. They're just holding it in and they're all angry and it's just like, okay. I know every lady feels me on this when they fix their hair, okay? Guys fixing their hair is just hot. Point blank, period, baby, okay? And you want to add a little bonus? Do it in front of a mirror and let a girl watch you fix your hair while you're looking at yourself in the mirror, being a little narcissistic little bitch. Mmm, delicious. These are three things guys do that girls love. Guys, make sure you stay watch. I'm always helping out the girls, so I gotta help out the boys now. So make sure you stay. Number one, carry yourself with confidence. Boys, this one is so important, like I'm telling you. I honestly think that as a guy, having confidence is more important than being good looking. Like if you have more confidence than any other dude, you'll get any girl you want. It's just that simple. You walk up to a girl with confidence and yeah, that's all you need. Number two, having good style and looking fresh. Boys, this one is also really important because this thing right here gives you confidence. So it's kind of like combining the two, right? If you look good and you feel fresh and you're confident, like I'm telling you, you can get any girl, I'm telling you. So if you have that, make sure you're dripped out, you look fresh and you're confident. Okay, last but not least, number three, boys, the girls love this one also, I'm telling you. If, you, if you're like that, 
They'll love that so much. These are things guys do that girls love. Five head activities. So underrated, it's not even funny. A lot of us girls have forehead insecurities. We really be out here thinking we look like Mega Mind. We'll try to cover it at any given opportunity. So when you pull our hair out of our face and give us forehead kisses, ah, it makes us feel special. Because you love us even if we do look like the female Dr. Eggman. Impeccable taste. Number two is the IMAX and Climax. When a guy takes an interest in the girly shows that we watch with no ulterior motive, he's just doing it because he knows we enjoy it and then actually gets into it. Can't lie, if you do that, much higher chance of opening the gates of Mordor and making a scream like the at school. There is no better way to put you in a good mood than when the guy that you like sends you a text out of nowhere to let you know he's thinking about you. Or if we're on our period and you come with our favourite snacks and things that are going to comfort us. I'm getting heart palpitations just thinking about it. If you do this, good luck trying to get rid of her because she will be attached for all eternity. If you know what this reference is, congratulations, you're elite. This is so underrated, so hear me out. When you're holding hands and they do the thing, and in public, oh my god, hand squeezes and thigh grabs are also up there with this. When he does the four H's, oh my god. Respectfully, have my babies. First up, good hygiene. When he looks after himself, showers regularly, and knows the difference between smelling good and being one step away from having a personal lynx cloud, that's my shit right there. I know, the bar's extremely low, and some of you still can't pass it. Number two, honesty is the best policy. When he's open and honest and actually communicates, panties or dropping. Pair that with being humble and hilarious, and I think we have good grounds to replace one of the members of the Fantastic Four. Second to last, the human belt. The way I have butterflies right now even just thinking about this. When you pull us in at the waist. Oh. It's giving Tarzan and Jane, Lois Lane and Clark Kent, Peter Parker and MJ. Mentally, I'm there. Literally is that. It's a superhero effect. Because you feel like you're being protected. Yo. And it's just super sexy. Which all superheroes are. My career's over. Just get dating advice from Marvel. To be honest, I've really saved the best till last here because it definitely takes top spot. When you're walking and the guy stands closest to the road. If you do that, I guarantee you're a good person and you stay loyal as fuck. Because essentially, what those actions are telling me is that you would die for me. You would die to protect my legacy! <coughs> Fuck me, that really hurt my throat. But yeah, uh, standards are low. We don't really ask for much, to be honest. Especially that last one. 